represent of all the valid participants we have which is it says three hundred percent of them which means the three of them use facebook for the snapchat out of the three valid participants we have two of them use snapchat and out of the three valid participants we have two of them use instagram what is the problem we identified here which is answering the question dealing with missing responses here as you noticed we have 000 for this participant who doesn't use Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. And the problem with this participant now, and how SPSS deals with it, is that you don't see it included in this analysis. And SPSS said the participant is missing, which is not supposed to be the case because they are actually a valid participant, but they are simply missing. But they don't have anything filled out for Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. So you would probably need to create a new variable if there is a case where the person didn't fill out Facebook, Snapchat, or Instagram, and the new variable will simply be called none, or we can call it no answer. So the person didn't fill out that question at all. And in the values, for the person that fills out the question, we give them a value of zero no because that's a double negative which is positive and that person filled it out but the person that didn't fill out the question will just give them a value of yes so we had them and then click ok so for this participant we will give them a value of zero because they answered they will give this one zero they answered we give them zero because they answered all the question but for this participant here we give them a value of one because they didn't answer any of the questions so now let's do this again and try to see if that's going to be corrected so let's go to analyze and go to multiple responses and define variable sets now this time around you know we have a new variable so we're going to remove this and we're going to have facebook snapchat instagram and then we're going to add no answer as well and then it's categorical variable one and we call it the name of social media and then add it as a new multiple response close this window go to analyze multiple responses and then frequency and then move in your social media variable and click ok now as you can see here there is no longer a missing participant compared to the first one you see we had missing one participant missing because we have this variable of no answer which means that the participant didn't answer any of the questions now for facebook we have three participants that answered yes so they are a valid response and we have 75 percent of valid cases which means that out of the four participants 75 percent that is three of them answered the question as yes to Facebook for Snapchat 50, for Instagram 50, and for no answer 25. Now we've looked at entering variables, we've looked at getting frequency distribution and understanding the output. Now the next step is to do a basic cross tab. So we can do a basic cross tabulation looking at the association or the difference between those who use Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. All you have to do again is go to analyze multiple responses and this time select the cross tabulation. You can look at Facebook and Snapchat, for example, put one in column and the other one in row. Select the Facebook and define the range. And here we have uh, minimum is zero, maximum is one. You remember the values we had. And then for Snapchat, we define the range as well. Minimum is zero, maximum is one. Continue and then select options. In the options, you can get cell percentages for your row, for your column, and for your total, and then continue. This is a basic cross tabulation and you would really not need but just in case you want to cross tabulate your responses you can simply use this function as you can see from our output screen for those people that answer zero to snapchat and they answer zero to facebook there's only one participant and for the participant that answered one for facebook and zero for snapchat there's one participant but for the participant that answered yes to facebook and yes to snapchat we have two participants and then you can see that we have 25% here and 75% here. So we have more people using Facebook and Snapchat than the people using only Facebook and only Snapchat, as we can see in this case. That's how you create a cross tabulation. The cross tab doesn't have a chi square. If you would like to do a chi square between each of your variables, you don't need the multiple response question. You can simply just go to analyze descriptive statistics and cross tabulation, which will be in another lecture. But here we're just focusing on the multiple responses itself. How do you create a bar graph for the multiple response questions in SPSS? The first way you can create a bar graph is to actually select this column here and then plot it into a bar graph. Double click on this one, click here again, and then select this percentage of cases, right click here, and then create graph, bar graph. As you can see here, 
we have 75% for Facebook, 50% for Snapchat, 50% for Instagram, and 25% for no answer. You can change these values here. Just double click on this, go to values, click on it again, change that to percentage. And if you don't like these options here as well, you can change them. So you can change this social media, Facebook, just change this to Facebook if you like. So remove this social media, Facebook, change that to Snapchat, this to Instagram, and this to no answer. There you go. And you can also add labels to this. Select all of them, right click on it, and then show data labels. 